In this week's episode, turtles in Texas beat the cold, an update on discoveries eaten alive, Prince William stands up against wildlife trafficking, and what in the world is a numbat? Find out now in your two-minute blast of wildlife news. Prince William has landed in the U.S. for a tour against the illegal wildlife trade, which he considers one of the most insidious forms of corruption in the world. The second in line to the throne has been campaigning against wildlife trafficking for years and hopes to get delegates in Washington on board. Staff at Perth Zoo are also campaigning for threatened wildlife, and in this case, the cutest animal you've never heard of, numbats. Less than a thousand of the tiny marsupials exist in the wild, and thanks to this zoo, 14 more will soon be joining them. In more zoo news, rare Kemp's Ridley turtles were recently flown from Boston to Texas after a cold snap sent the animals into shock. Half of the nearly 1,000 turtles that washed up ashore were rescued. The drop in temperature stunned so many turtles that New England Aquarium and other local turtle rehab centers were overrun. Staying in the ocean, officials in Australia are stumped after the body of a shark was found dumped in a parking lot. Initial reports claimed it was a protected great white, but it's actually a mako shark. Not illegal, but why the shark was ditched remains a mystery. Off to Oman, where scientists have discovered that humpback whales in the Arabian Sea are different from every other group in the world. Genetic testing revealed the group of whales has been isolated for 70,000 years. On to a more unexpected water incident. This video of an owl swimming in Chicago's Lake Michigan went viral this week. All owls can swim, but not for long and never by choice. They have to dry themselves before they can fly again. This bird was in distress and judging by the video, majorly grumpy. If one animal has a right to be grumpy this week, it's Bulgaria's green cat. Many locals assumed a vandal had painted the stray cat green, but as it turns out, it's been sleeping in a paint shed. And cat lovers in Beverly Hills got a treat when yet another mountain lion was seen crossing the highway. Officials suspected it was the infamous cougar P-22, but photos reveal this cat is an uncolored newbie. If you check out one Animal Crossing this week, it should probably be the one happening on Christmas Island. Holy crabs! Tis the season, and the island's red crabs are en route from the jungle to the beaches. All 120 million of them. We're wrapping up with an update on discoveries eaten alive. As we suspected, no one was eaten during the show, which is taking serious heat from scientists on social media. That's it for this week. Until next time, we'll see you on the website, Facebook, and Twitter.